What if I told you that some beings roaming the ancient world weren't part of God's creation? Creatures so enigmatic and powerful that their very existence challenges everything we thought we knew. Hidden within ancient texts are tales of mysterious entities born not from divine intention but from acts of defiance and sin. These aren't just myths or legends, they're stories that have puzzled scholars for centuries. As we unravel these secrets, you might find that the truth is more astonishing than fiction. Prepare yourself for a journey into the unknown, where we'll explore three of the most baffling and controversial accounts ever recorded. The last one is so surprising, it might just change the way you see everything. Are you ready to delve into the mysteries that lie just beneath the surface? Let's begin with the Nephilim, enigmatic figures shrouded in mystery and intrigue. According to ancient scriptures, before the Great Flood, an extraordinary event occurred that defied the natural order. The sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful, and they chose any they wanted as wives, Genesis 6 verse 2. From these forbidden unions came the Nephilim, mighty warriors, giants who walked the earth. But who exactly were these sons of God? Interpretations vary, and the debate has raged for centuries. Some believe they were fallen angels, celestial beings who abandoned their rightful place. Others suggest they were powerful human rulers or perhaps descendants of Seth mingling with Cain's lineage. The Hebrew word Nephilim translates to fallen ones, hinting at a complex and possibly ominous origin. What's particularly intriguing is that these beings weren't part of God's original creation plan. They emerged from actions that crossed forbidden boundaries, blending the heavenly and the earthly in ways that were never intended. This fusion resulted in creatures that stood outside the natural order, beings of immense strength and renown but born out of rebellion. Some scholars propose a darker motive behind their existence. It suggested that there was an attempt to corrupt humanity's very essence. By introducing a kind of genetic disruption, the aim was to derail the path toward a promised future, one that held hope for redemption. The presence of the Nephilim symbolizes a world spiraling into chaos, where the lines between right and wrong became blurred. Their existence was so troubling that it led to drastic measures. The scriptures recount that God decided to cleanse the earth with a flood, preserving only Noah and his family, described as righteous and untainted. The Nephilim, along with the widespread corruption of humanity, were wiped away to restore balance and order. The story of the Nephilim serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of defying divine boundaries. These creatures, born not from God's will but from acts of defiance, had a profound impact on the world. They represent how actions outside of divine intention can lead to unforeseen and dramatic consequences. Next, let's delve into the dramatic transformation of Lucifer into Satan. Originally, Lucifer was an angel of unparalleled beauty and wisdom. His name means light bearer, and he was referred to as the morning star, Isaiah 14 verse 12. Holding a high position among the heavenly hosts, he was perhaps even responsible for leading the heavenly worship. Despite his exalted status, something within Lucifer shifted. Enamored by his own splendor, pride began to take root. He desired more than his rightful place, aspiring to ascend even higher. I will ascend to the heavens, I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will make myself like the Most High. Isaiah 14 verses 13 to 14 This ambition was more than mere aspiration, it was a direct challenge to the established order. Lucifer sought equality with God a move that disrupted the harmony of the heavenly realm. This act of defiance wasn't just a personal failing, it was a cosmic rebellion. The fallout was immediate and severe. 
In response to this insurrection, Lucifer and those who followed him were cast out of heaven. Stripped of his former glory, Lucifer became Satan, the adversary, the embodiment of opposition to divine will. His fall was monumental, transforming a once radiant angel into the principal force of darkness. From that moment on, Satan's mission was one of disruption and corruption. Unable to challenge God directly, he turned his attention to humanity, seeking to undermine and destroy what God held dear. He became the tempter, the deceiver, weaving his influence throughout human history. Lucifer's fall illustrates the destructive power of pride and ambition unchecked. A being created in perfection allowed arrogance to overshadow his purpose, leading to his downfall. It's a narrative that echoes through time, warning of the perils of overreaching and the consequences of defying one's rightful place. Finally, we arrive at perhaps the most well-known yet enigmatic creature, the serpent in the Garden of Eden. In this paradise of perfection and harmony, the serpent made its move, setting the stage for humanity's first great test. The serpent asked Eve, Did God really say, you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Genesis 3 verse 1 This question was more than innocent curiosity, it was a calculated attempt to sow doubt and confusion. By challenging God's command, the serpent opened the door to temptation. Eve responded, clarifying that they could eat from any tree except one. But the serpent persisted, contradicting God's warning. You will not certainly die. For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Genesis 3 verses 4 to 5 The allure was potent. The idea of gaining wisdom and becoming like God was tempting. Succumbing to this, Eve took the fruit and ate it, also giving some to Adam. This act of disobedience had profound implications, introducing sin and mortality into the human experience. But let's focus on the serpent itself. Was it merely a crafty animal, or something more? Many believe that the serpent was a vessel for Satan, allowing him to interact directly with humanity. This creature, through deception, became an instrument of humanity's downfall. As a result, the serpent was cursed. Cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. Genesis 3 verse 14 This curse transformed the serpent's existence, marking it as a perpetual symbol of deceit and enmity. Moreover, God declared an ongoing hostility. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. Genesis 3 verse 15 this enmity wasn't just between humans and snakes but symbolized the struggle between good and evil, a conflict that would play out through the ages. The serpent's role in Eden represents another instance where a creature became something outside of God's intended creation due to sin. It serves as a powerful reminder of how deception can alter the course of history and how vulnerable we can be to manipulation. Now, for the surprising revelation promised, the last creature that God did not create. Beyond the Nephilim, beyond Lucifer's fall, and even beyond the serpent's deception, there is one more entity born and not from divine intention but from human action, the hardened heart. Yes, the hardened heart is a creation not of God but of persistent rebellion and rejection of truth. When individuals continually resist what is right, their hearts become hardened, creating a barrier between themselves and the divine. This hardened heart becomes an entity of its own, influencing actions and distancing individuals from the path intended for them. This concept might seem abstract compared to the tangible beings we've discussed, but it's a profound idea. The hardened heart leads to choices and actions that perpetuate a cycle of negativity and separation. 
It's a creature of our own making, born from decisions that stray from goodness. This realization brings the discussion full circle, emphasizing that not all creatures not created by God are external. Sometimes, they are internal, residing within us, shaped by our choices and actions. So, what do we take away from these tales of creatures that God did not create? The Nephilim, born from forbidden unions, Lucifer, whose pride led to his downfall, and the serpent, used as a vessel for deception, all illustrate the profound impact of rebellion and sin. Yet, amidst these cautionary accounts, there's a message of hope. Despite the disruptions caused by these beings, God's plan for redemption remained unwavering. The challenges they presented were met with divine responses that ultimately paved the way for restoration. As we conclude this exploration, let's carry forward the lessons these stories offer. They urge us to be mindful of our choices, to guard against pride and deception, and to respect the boundaries set for our good. They also encourage us to seek deeper understanding, recognizing that there's often more beneath the surface of what we accept at face value. Perhaps now, these ancient narratives resonate differently. The mysteries we've uncovered invite us to reflect, to question, and to grow. In acknowledging the complexities of these creatures, we gain insight into the ongoing relationship between the divine, humanity, and the forces that seek to influence our world. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey. If you found this video enlightening, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insights into biblical stories and their hidden meanings.